right intro. Uh, hi, I'm Nick Doran. Uh, I'm an engineer working at an art museum, but I'm not going to talk about art or coding today. I'm going to talk about an unexpected journey I took into interactive fiction. Uh, so it all started about a year ago when I was home and we started watching The Hobbit. And somewhere in The Hobbit, uh, Gandalf and his friends take out this uh, map that can only be read under a certain phase of the moon at a certain time of the year. And I saw this, and just everything stopped. You see, I need this. <laughs> I collect maps, and this is like the coolest thing. Even if it's like imaginary and not even possible, I want this so badly. Um, but, you know, I mean, Gandalf had it, so maybe I should start to like compare what I know to Gandalf. And Gandalf is like, like magic and sword fighting. I don't even know any magic tricks or sword skills or. Um, but I do know coding and mapping, so maybe there's something there. Maybe I can like get into this and like figure out how to make this map out. Uh, the first problem is that scientifically speaking, despite what you might have heard about werewolves, moonlight and sunlight are the same thing. Like they aren't. They can't just build a sensor or use your phone camera to like detect whether it's the moon or the sun. So that's not a good route. Fortunately, the moon is extremely predictable. Like math and all these. These uh, ancient sculptures were all created to track the sun and the moon and the planets. So it's very predictable. So if we know what time it is, we should know if it's the moon and it's in the right phase. For example, if you go to Wolfram Alpha, 100 years from today's date, the moon will look like this, which is pretty good for your fictional story if your map is only going to show like, a crescent moon or something spooky <laughs> like that. Um, so we can use the technology powers to like predict what's happening. And then also, I'll use your location. I'll look around you. If you're surrounded by green or blue, you're outdoors and you probably see the moon. If you're not, then you could be indoors and trying to cheat. And that map is not going to work this way. It's going to look all around you. Problem is, hackers are extremely lazy and they're going to cheat anyway. They're going to fake their location. They're going to fake their time. When I put this on a website, people were starting to like say, oh, I found it, this and that. And I don't want that to happen. It has to be like foolproof or hacker proof. And so I want to make like a self-contained device that is going to know, like just like the map, that's going to know whether the moon is in the right phase, whether it's up and whether it's night, and you're seeing it by the light of the moon. But I'm a software guy. I don't know how to do hardware. Fortunately, or no, so also you can't use the internet. Um, this is a huge problem because the internet was how I was getting that previous knowledge. And uh, it's just because like any kind of cell modem or Bluetooth is going to be too bulky, too power hungry, too expensive for this little side project. Uh, so I found this GPS device. Uh, it's actually produced by Adafruit, a company here in New York. And uh, with this GPS, and only the GPS, I'm going to be able to tell you the location and also the phase of the moon. And it's kind of difficult to explain. But see, GPS is not like a conversation between your phone and space. Like that, the GPS satellite has no time for you and your little travels. Uh, so instead, the GPS satellite is just broadcasting out, and all you do is just kind of listen to that. And what you hear is time. GPS is actually clocks. It's really weird, but the clocks are all in sync with each other. And according to Einstein, some other smart people, uh, that it means that if you see different times, it means that you can have different look, lengths of distance from those satellites, and you can pr predict your location. The bad news is that if one of those clocks goes out of sync, would screw everybody up. So the Department of Defense does have a plan. One of the clocks on the satellite goes off, they will shoot it out of the sky, and you can get Chipotle just like that. <laughs> um, back to my project. Um, so I got the GPS and programmed an Arduino and hooked them all together and hung it out the window of my apartment and said, the sun's still up, you're not going to be able to see it. And I did some little more tweaking and waited for it to get dark, and then this device was able to tell me, yes, the moon is out, it's the right phase. And then I came across this piece of e-paper, it's the same stuff that goes inside Kindles, and you only need to power up whenever you change the screen. So this is a really cool thing to have, and when I combine them, I'm going to have this map device. It's actually possible. Now, what does it show? It's kind of a secret. I can't just tell you. Um, but I, I hope to just make one and then like stash it somewhere secret and safe so that someone like Gandalf has to like come over and dig it out of the archive sometime and find out what it really means. I think this is part of a new class of objects and places that are gonna like bridge this gap between our world and all these different interactive fictional worlds. Uh, it would just be a cool experience just to be walking along and stumble into an art or universe or fiction. Uh, so I'm Matt Meld on Twitter and GitHub, and uh, that's it. Thanks.